What's good, YouTube? It's your man, BG Tech Life. And today, we got something on the channel. Just dropped. I seen a YouTube video about it, so I said, might as well try it out in between time. Bring something new to the channel. Bring something different to check out. When I talk about budget, guys, this is budget as it can get. This is the 2023 Moto G Play. Um, this device is $169.99. I put an Amazon link down in the description. I'm just going to unbox it with you guys. So as you can see, we got the cardboard box and Moto G Play. Motorola on the side with a little sticker. This packaging is definitely eco-friendly. So we got the Moto G Play. It comes with a charger, a cable. Oh, well, well that's dope. If it comes with a charger and a cable, that's dope. A lot of stuff not getting that. Getting the SIM tool and we getting the guides. No specs on the back. Let's go ahead and just open it up. So we open it from the side like so. So first and foremost, we got the device. We're going to sit that to the side. See what else is in the box. Moto G paperwork. And we actually have a charger and we got a cable. So that's dope. And we, it looks like we got a type A to a type C. So it's not type C to type C. It's the old school type A to type C. You know, anything with type A is old school now. Nice little 10 watt brick, Motorola branding on there. It's got a nice indigo type blue, guys. Triple camera setup. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Pretty good looking device, guys. Nice little triple camera setup. I'm feeling this blue headphone jack on deck, $169.99. Got a headphone jack and we got a charging brick on deck. So that's pretty dope. We got a SIM slot on the left side of the device. That's kind of high up. We got the, uh, looks like the power button, volume rocker all the way at the top of the right side of the device. Kind of high up this device is. It's not no small device. Let's talk about some specs. This device is unlocked for all carriers. It runs Android 12.0. It's um, only getting 4G, it's not a 5G device. You're getting 32 gigabytes of memory storage. Um, it is the navy blue colorway. It's a 6.5 inch screen and you can get GSM, CDMA, and LTE, just no 5G. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up and we'll really, I'll talk to y'all about the experience of using this device after I get it all set up. Okay, YouTube, we got the 2023 Moto G Play set up, guys. And I'm off the break. I wouldn't recommend this device at 170 bucks. I say get a used flagship or just another device from another manufacturer. I've had devices brand new at this price point that work way better. This device is very, very uh, slow, guys. The processing power is very weak. Um, when you're moving around the device, you start to feel it immediately. I don't even have any apps installed on this device just my uh, Gmail signed in and things of that nature. But just moving around the device and using the device, it has shown itself to just be super lagged out. And I don't understand why they would put 90 Hertz on this device. If you're the processing power, you will never feel like using the device with 90 Hertz. Now, as far as the display go, I don't understand why they would put 90 Hertz in the device with a 720, 720 display and not just step it up to 1080 and I uh, use the 60 hertz because it will actually look a little better. This device, when you get up on it, it is grainy. The display is grainy. It gets dark in certain spaces, like around the camera. I don't like that. Um, just not a good display. It looks washed out and dull, and just turn it to the side a little bit, and it's going to get completely dark on you. As far as the cameras and things of that nature go, you can take a picture with this device, but it's very slow, very awkward. So I really wouldn't recommend this device for anything like that. Either I could see this device leading to a lot of frustration. I'd rather go out and spend a couple dollars more and try to get myself a Pixel 6a or get myself a used device. This is not a bad looking device. The design on the device, the device is pretty good. I like the color. The screen to bezel ratio is not that bad at the top and things of that nature but it does have a big chin at the bottom, so I'm definitely not feeling that at all. The feel in hand is pretty good. Is it The plastic doesn't feel too cheesy or anything like that. The fingerprint scanner works okay. The uh, camera layout is pretty dope looking. You know, 
you got a triple camera layout for 170, but like I said, you're not really gonna be taking no pictures with this device without a lot of frustration just because of the processing power and things of that nature. So first impressions of this device, guys, and first and last impressions of this device is you could with $170 on Swap, $170 on Amazon with a different manufacturer or a different device, you can find a way better device than the Moto G Play. The Moto G Play this year was really a letdown. I feel like its tech is cheap enough where Motorola could have put something together way better than what they offered us here, guys. I didn't want to waste any time. I just want to be brutally honest. Um, as far as the way the device runs and the, it processes things and the power of the device is definitely a no-go. Um, as far as the camera is, I mean, I don't expect anything from a camera for, I don't expect too much from a camera on a $170 phone, but it's still just, like, the way that it's powered is definitely a no-go. The display itself, I don't understand, and the worldwide would be 90 hertz, but the 720, have a 720 that looks really, really bad at just even the slightest off angle and gets all blackened up near the camera, it's just, not a good look, guys. Thought I was gonna get this device and use it for a little while, rock out with it, and have some fun in that budget realm like I usually like to do. But no, not with this one. It's your man, BG Tech Life. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. If you're not following me on Instagram and Twitter, go ahead and follow me, BG underscore Tech Life. It's your man, BG. I'm out. Peace.